The Great Eclipse of 2017 is coming upon us this Monday. I'm UF forecaster Brian Bogiano. For us here in North Central and North Florida, we might have a hard time viewing it as we do have some increased cloud cover in the forecast on Monday. But if you do get a glimpse of the eclipse, the best time to view it will be around between 2 and 3 o'clock when it will be the greatest totality over parts of North Central Florida, being around 2.30 in Pensacola, 2.45 here in Gainesville, and 3 o'clock in South Florida. The partial eclipse will last through 4.30. Still, though, some clouds lingering around could obscure the view. And tonight, But tonight here, though, in North Central Florida, clouds will be lingering around through around midnight and we will be clearing out. Notice those rain chances at 10% through the early morning hours. Still going to be a pretty muggy morning though, 74 degrees as the morning low. It will be dry, but those rain chances do go up as we head into Sunday afternoon. Besides that, it will be a warm day with highs in the 90s, 92 degrees in Lake City and Gainesville, 93 in Ocala, 90 degrees in Cedar Key. But once again, a few storms are possible. And with the heat, considering that with the heat index and you factor that in, it's going to feel like it's anywhere between 100 and 105 degrees here in north central Florida in most places, so make sure you stay hydrated. But a few storms are possible going into Sunday afternoon as an upper level low moves over south and central Florida, and that wet pattern will likely continue into Monday. So this will, this will definitely obscure the view of the eclipse going into Monday afternoon. But for Tuesday and Wednesday, we do dry out some as some drier air moves in behind that low pressure system. And I will show you that on my future moisture track. The stationary front that bought us a lot of heavy rain Friday, that's going to fizzle out slowly, but still as that low pressure system moves over Florida, a lot of moisture will still be over our area until Tuesday when some drier air filters in behind that. Now the big player for the weekend is going to be this cold front that's going to dip down starting Thursday. Notice all this dry air here and all this moisture here. So real, our rain chances will be picking up Thursday and Friday as this front moves to the south. But the good news is there is some drier air and that might make its way into north central Florida next weekend. But once again, showers and storms are possible Sunday afternoon. The eclipse is Monday. We do dry out by Wednesday, but then by Thursday, those rain chances pick up once again as that front approaches.